Good morning, my beautiful YouTube family. Happy Sunday to you. I'm so glad you could join with me today. We are continuing our extraordinary women's series and I have one of my favorite people. She is a master hairstylist. She's gonna be giving us a lot of tips and tricks about hair and trends for the upcoming fall season. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please push that red subscribe button on the home page of our YouTube channel and push the notification bell. And then you're going to be notified of all of the videos coming up in the future. Please like, share, and comment. And if you're enjoying the content, please share my channel with your family and your friends. So I want you guys to sit back, relax, get your favorite beverage. We're going to have a really great conversation with my friend. Welcome back to another edition of Beauty Therapy Sunday. All right, you guys, we're going to get started. I'm here with my fabulous friend. Now, let me tell you some things about her. She is a master hairstylist, you guys. I have seen her work absolute miracles on people, and I will share that. We'll talk about that a little later. She's a very successful businesswoman and salon owner. She has owned her salon for 28 years. She's an educator, a lecturer. She's a mentor. She actually received the mentorship award from Dudley Cosmetic University, you guys. So this woman is just extraordinary, and she is the podcast host on her own po podcast show. It's on Facebook Live and YouTube. It's called Pat Boyd Beauty and Bling, and I was on her show not too long ago, so you can check that out on her YouTube channel. And she is a member of the National Cosmetology Association, you guys. So I want you all to welcome my friend, the fabulous the beautiful, the vivacious <laughs> Patricia, oh, I call her Pat Boy, to the show. Hi, Pat. Thank, Thank you for being here. Thank you for I'm having so glad. Me. Oh, I'm so glad you could be here. I was excited to talk to you. I, I mean, look at her, you guys. She's flawless. Oh, my God. Look how beautiful she is. Oh, she's my God. <laughs> but thanks to you, you taught me how to do that. Right. But, you know, I was feeling some kind of way because, you know, you're the master at that makeup, and uh, is it okay? <laughs> oh, you, you're just fabulous. Okay, so let's talk about, let's talk to Pat about a few things. So, Again, she's a master hairstylist, you guys. She has, she has so much experience with hairstyling and she has so many tricks and tips. So Pat, um, what, is your, what is your favorite type of hair to work on? Shortcuts. Because you, you, I mean, look at yours, I mean, it's fabulous. You, you're, this, you're like a short I type, love type of the shortcuts. shortcuts. Yes, yeah. that was, I was known for the shortcuts. No, and that's, that's precision. That's yes, precision, precision cutting. cutting. As I remember you when you and I worked together, I have to tell you guys a story. Um, I used to be a regular beauty contributor on ABC7 in Chicago. Um, I would do a segment called Monday Makeovers. And so we would choose women across the, you know, the Midwest um, and we would do complete makeovers on them. We would do hair, makeup, wardrobe. And so I had met Pat through my cousin, Dawn Jeter Jefferson, who's also a hairstylist. And I said, you know what? I love Pat's style. I want to feature her on the show. So I called Pat, and I called you, Pat, and I said, Pat, would you mind coming on ABC 7, 11 a.m. news with me and doing a makeover of this woman? So Pat agreed, and I tell you guys, it was the best makeover we had on the entire show in eight years. And women were calling me and emailing me and saying, how can I get in contact with her? Because they wanted, <laughs> they wanted the same hairstyle and the same color that you did yes, on this one. And you did a beautiful job thank on her you, hat. Thank you. So so Pat, do you um do you like coloring or styling better? I like both actually. Okay. Um I originally started out with just really uh, cutting and styling, but okay. color is it brings a pop to the look. Okay. So I I love to add that color you know, that uh, three-dimensional or two-dimensional yes, yes. to the look, because it just makes it look a little better, okay. a lot better, okay. actually. Uh, do, you, um, uh, do you have any tips for maintaining, like, healthy hair? Yes. Because yes. hair, because I, I, you tell me, because you're, you're the expert. So can, is it a balance between moisture and protein? Is yeah. that? Yes. Okay. Actually, first of all, I'd like to say to the audience that 
um, if you, whatever product you use, use the system. Use the whole the system. Entire system. Okay, okay. That is what's going to give you the best results. See, I didn't know that. Yes. See, I know a lot of the people mix, mix and match. You can do it, but you're not going to get the results that you really want. Wow. Yes, the system, the product, the manufacturing companies, they design the product to work within the system. System together. That makes to, sense. Yeah. Yeah, when you think about it, that's you know, that key. makes a lot of, uh, that makes a lot of sense. Yes, right? that's first. And then you definitely want to identify where you are. Okay. Chemically treated hair mm -hmm. should use chemically treated products. Oh. Okay. Color treated hair. Should use products that are manufactured or, for or, color or formulated for color yes. hair. Natural. Duh. She, <laughs> she makes it so simple for us, doesn't she? <laughs> That's so simple when you think about it. Yes, you know, it makes sense. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, the, the stylist should educate our, we should educate our clients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and I, I, from a makeup artist's point of view, I do that yes. with my clients. I tell them what I'm using, why, yes. and all of those things. Yes. I think it's important that when you're styling someone's hair, if you're a hair stylist that you do, let them know how to maintain yes. and what kinds of products would be beneficial right. to their kind of hair. Exactly. At that particular point, if it's colored or natural right. or whatever. Yes. Now we're into the whole natural phrase. Oh, yes. What do you think about that, Pat? What do you think about the natural phrase? I love it. Okay. I love it because we're embracing our, you know, natural our heritage. Growth, our, yes. our heritage. Mm -hmm. That's one. Two, it's healthier. Yes. Natural hair is healthier. Yeah. Um, you find a, a, a client that maybe started out with chemically treated hair and they went natural. The hair, the texture, the thickness, the healthiness, it's, it's amazing. It's all comes all, all it, it. Yes. Yeah. And what do you think about, um, I know we are, we're, we're really into that, the, the era of braiding. A lot yes. of braids. And I know Pat actually teaches, <laughs> yes, you know, I she's know. such a great educator. She teaches a lot. We're going to talk about that later. But what do you think about, um, but I know some women suffer from tension alopecia. Yes. So what is your remedy for? So my thing is for the stylist first to do a consultation. Okay. To make sure that the client can receive the braid. You do a strand test? Is that what? You can strand test. Okay, okay, yes, right. yes, yes. They, they can strand test. They can just look at the hair and okay. see, you know, if, it, if the hair is um, healthy. Okay. You know, through a strand test to see the elasticity of the hair and then decide what type of braid or if they should get braids. Okay, or great. Not. Or yes. not. Yeah. Or not. Because I know a lot of times women lose their edges. Yes. Because the, the braids are so tight. They're so yeah. tight. And you have to be mindful of the client's yeah. hair. Yeah. You know? The texture of the, the hair. Because it's different for everybody. Yes, it is. And different yeah. techniques for different types of hair. Okay. Oh, yes. 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 A lot of people don't know that. Pat. Yes. No, I really, know. they don't. They don't. They, they, they don't. say, I want box braids, but box braids may not be for the best them. thing for your particular right. hair texture. Right. Yeah. Or, they want box braids and their texture may be soft and uh, fine. And so there's a different way to apply that braid. Okay. All and, right. and then we have the crochet styles. We have so yeah, many, so many different styles. ways you yes. can do. Yeah. Yes, I love it. So, Pat, what um, are some of the hottest trends coming up for the fall? The hottest trends for the fall that, that I've been seeing or, you know, hearing about is the ombre, reverse ombre, okay. peekaboo. Now, what is the ombre? What is that? Ombre exactly? is color, you know, going graduated from graduated color. color okay. Technique. Just like in clothing. Yes, that, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Ombre colors are just, uh, the color period Okay. is like, wow. Wow. Did you notice that? Yeah, I, I noticed a lot of people are here everywhere. And I, and I like color. I love seeing color. Yes. You know, and it's fun. It's fun. It's youthful. Yeah. Too. Vibrant. So I think people should take advantage of that. But yes. isn't there a special way, Pat, that you need to take care of your hair when it gets colored? Yes. Because yes. every every step you do pulls nutrients from yes. the hair. Yes. Right? So can you tell us hair. about that? Yes. So first of all, color treated hair, they say it's damaged hair. Okay. Because we're breaking the hair shaft down. down. Okay. All right. So when you receive color, you have to be mindful. First of all, you have to make sure you maintain the your hair style through you know your daily maintenance. So okay. You okay. have to put a moisturizer on the color okay. treated hair. Okay. Okay. You may have to put a little oil sheet. You have okay. to tie it up at night. Okay. You can't just go to bed yeah, and yeah, let, let the cotton rub. Pillow. Exactly. Because yeah. cotton. Dries out. Ow. That's why a lot of, Yeah. 
<laughs> you know, you guys been teaching me a little stuff. I've been watching all these years. Pat, you know, I picked up a few little strips from you. Okay. So what about satin pillows? Yes, satin pillows. I love it. It's perfect for it because it's um, it it holds moisture. Okay. So you can actually sell that um, oh. moisture set pillowcase. Okay. Oh yes, I sell that thing. Okay, and I'm going to make sure that everybody knows how to reach Pat at the end. Yes. I'll put all that information at the end of the show today. Yes. So the hair is able to breathe. It, the moisture is able to stay within mm -hmm. itself because they even have uh, satin bonnets. Oh yeah. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. To maintain that moisture, wow. so wow. it's it's key. So you guys, you know, I'm telling you. Listen to this. I mean, if you want a hairstylist who is going to maintain your hair and help you build healthy hair, this is your lady right here. Okay, but I'm going to make sure that I give you her information at the end of the show today. So again, uh, Pat is a very successful business owner, and, um, business woman, and salon owner. She has owned her salon, the salon where we're sitting today, Share Creations, for 28 years. So Pat, did you always want to own your own salon? Well, actually, no. No, okay. I did not, but the salon that I started at, the the owner, yes. she was such a great mentor. Okay. You know, she she directed me along the way. And, you know, she she said, Pat, basically follow me. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Follow me okay. and I will help you. Okay. And as I grew and was able to start uh, thinking about, okay, so I'm looking at her and her time was coming to an end in the beauty industry. Okay. I think she I remember was, that when I think yeah. about her. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So she was gonna eventually close. So I said, okay, she's closing. So what are we gonna do? So I need to start my own business. Okay. All right. And I did it, and then I had multiple salons, and my heart was to bring stylists in that needed help. Yes. Mentoring. Mentoring. You have a, She has the heart of a mentor. You guys. Yes. We're gonna talk about that in a little bit too. And get them up and running. Uh, help them build a business, help them decide which direction they want to go right, into, right. and then ultimately lead them there. Wow. Yes. Wow. So, yes, God is good. Yes, He is every day, yes. right? <laughs> um, so, you know, are there, you know, there, there are going to be people who are watching today, young beauty, beauty experts who are starting in the business, who, who are gaining a lot of um, new knowledge from you, from mm -hmm. this conversation we're having today. Um, and they're they're going to probably they may want to open their own salon someday. Mm -hmm. Are there any challenges that you want to warn them about in regarding to owning their own salon? Yes. The first thing I want to say is, if you are interested in owning your own salon, make sure that you have a heart for people. Yes. Yes. Because ultimately, you become the parent. Yeah. We're, we're kind of psychologists too. Yes. Because yes. people tell us a lot of oh, stuff yes. when, when they're in my chair. Yeah. They tell me a lot of stuff. They share a lot of things with me. So yes. I have to also be their counselor sometimes yes. and hear people all the same way. And inspire yeah. them, encourage yeah. them. Yes. They are always, you know, it's always something. And it's just life. But yes. we're here to direct them and show, show them the way, yes. a better way. Yeah. So, yes, I would first say to make sure you have a heart for people because you're going to have to lead and guide these people. Yes. That's one. Yes. Two, make sure you're not doing it for the money. Okay. Make sure that you're doing it to employ okay, yes. other people. Yes. To help other, other people. people. First. Reach back, grabbing, Reach back. pulling yes. people up. We, we talk about that a lot. Yes, on the show. yes. I call it EOC, Equal Opportunity mm -hmm. uh, Company. That's what we call it. Equal so, Opportunity I, Company. Yes. I love that. So, so look, look back. And see who helped you. Okay. Think about how they helped you. Okay. And then in turn use some of those things that you learned and then help someone else. Wow. Yeah, yes. So so that those are the main two reasons why. And then of course the money's gonna happen. Yeah, of course. I always say you find your passion, yes. the money comes it when comes. you find your passion. That's just a natural It's a natural occurrence. thing. Yeah. I do wanna say also yes. make sure that you um for your community that you're serving the community. Unity that you were where your salon is yes. based. Yeah. So that's the, important. Yes, or be a part sure. of that yes. community. Yes. Yeah, really a yes. part yes. of that community. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I love yes. and Pat is such a part of the community here in Northwest Indiana. I mean, she does so much. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about that. She <laughs> she's amazing. All right. So um so Pat received she is an educator, lecturer, and mentor, you guys. She's always hosting classes for young people, teaching them uh, how to do braids and all sorts of things, hair care things. 
Um, she received the mentorship award again from Dudley Cosmetic University. So, Pat, you're always mentoring young people in the industry. Why is that so important to you? That is so important to me because, so I've been in business 40 years. Mm -hmm. I am 58. In fact, it's flawless. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. But I know that um, it's time to reach back and help the next generation. Yes. Yeah. And they need us. Yes. Oh, my. Oh, they my need God. Us. They need us really, really. They need us really. Yes. And so my they mission, do. my focus, and my purpose is to give everything that I have. Yeah. In the knowledge another, that you have. The knowledge that I have, let me give it while I'm up and running. Yes. Feeling good. Yes. So yes. that they can have a chance. Yes. And I, I'm really, um, I'm not going to say I'm called to them, but I usually uh, deal with the youth that are, you know, left behind. Yes. The foster kids. Yeah, yeah. Those yes. kids, yes. You know, juveniles, those yes. kids. Yes. It's my heart to yeah. Help them give them hope. Yes. And help them have peace. That's that's so yes. wonderful. That's yes. so wonderful. Um so Pat, you are the host of Pat Boyd Beauty and Bling. This is her podcast, you guys, <laughs> that is on YouTube and Facebook Live, and it is so wonderful. Such beautiful energy. Like I said, Pat had me on about three weeks ago. Yeah. I was on her show. So you guys can check that out on, on YouTube as well. I'm laughing because you know, you know Marcus. Yeah. I'm dancing, yeah. I'm screaming. Yeah. Because I'm so excited about other people's journey. Yes. I yeah. love it. Because we can learn from each other's journey. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I learn from your journey. You learn, yes. from, you learn from each other. Yes. And that's what sharing is all about. Yes. You know, and that's, yeah, we, yes. have to ha we have to build a community. We have that's to build a important. community and encourage other people. Because honestly, people think that their journey journeys does not matter. It does matter. It does. Your journey matters. Whatever it is. And whatever it is, because you can also, by sharing your journey with other people, and you guys know my subscribers know I have shared part of my journey on the show here, by sharing your journey, you can help someone else not make the same mistakes right. that you made doing your journey. Exactly. So that's what it's about, trying to make someone else's journey easier, easier. than your journey was. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So, um, how did you come up with the idea of... Pet Boy Beauty and yes. Bling? How did you come up with that idea? Well, okay, so let me say this. Let me think about that. Okay. How did I actually, uh, during the pandemic, yes. pandemic really, you know, changed my mind about social media. That's when I started my show. You That's when I started this show during the pandemic. See? I wanted to give something, still be creative in the creative yes. mode and also sharing as the pandemic was going on. Yes. Yeah. So during that time, I had to come up because I'm a hairstylist. Yeah. So I couldn't do clients. So how yes. was I going to make money? Right. So I initially started really pushing my hair products. Right. Right. I did that. Right. And then I was like, Lord, what am I going to do? Because if I don't shift, yes, I will be. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. On the other side. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to be creative. I think sometimes uh, stressful times or. Those times that um, we are that are challenging, they force you yes. to be more creative, yes. and they force you to step out of yes. your comfort zone, and they force you to step out of the box. Exactly, and, and that's what I both did. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Look, I love to stand behind my chair and talk to my client and help them that way. Yes, I never want to get on social media. Yeah, I, it was not my thing. Your thing, yeah. But I had to, so. I have a producer, she lives in Atlanta, yes. Crystal. Yes. And Crystal said, you know, she said, Pat, look, you know, she saw some things in me. She was like, let's just do it. Yeah, let's do it. And we've been doing it. And listen, every Monday, listen, Monday morning, I'm like, oh my God, I want to stay in the house. Right. Like, but it was like, ready for the show. Yeah, you have to get ready. So get ready for the show. Yes. Yeah, I know it's very exciting. <laughs> I love it. So, you guys, this is Beauty Therapy Sundays. And so we always, uh, uh, talk to the guest about their personal beauty regimen. And you can see Pat has number one gorgeous skin. Her makeup is flawless. <laughs> so, okay. so, <laughs> so can you Pat, can you tell the subscribers what your special daily you know routine is for maintaining your beautiful skin? Yes. Yeah, so what I do, like I said, you have to use the system. Mm 
Okay. Now, can I throw out the name? Yeah, of course, absolutely. So I use Mary Kay's. Oh, really? Uh, yes. I use their product line. It's for, you know, the mature woman. Okay. And it consists of a cleanser, okay. um, an exfoliator, okay. moisturizer, okay. a nighttime eye cream, and a nighttime cream. Now, do I use it every day? Like I said, yeah, I clean it every day. Yes, yes, obviously. But yeah. that the exfoliation, love using it because it takes I wear makeup so it takes all yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Because you have to make sure that you're getting all of that off that. Yes, 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 yes. So I love that. I love it. And so I do use it because it works. And I like products that work. Yes. I do. Yeah. Yes. So you guys, what I want you to know, um, if you are interested in getting in contact with Pat, and I know you will, I'm gonna put her information right at the bottom of the screen, but you want to go to Sheer Creations Academy dot so if you are interested in talking to Pat, coming in, having a consultation, you have to reach out to her because I'm telling you, she will set that hair ablaze. I'm telling you, she is like <laughs> Thank you, so, so, so amazing. Um, so if you're in the Chicago area or Northwest Indiana area, please, please, please reach out to Pat. And I also, these beautiful chairs that Pat and I are sitting it today. Can I say something yeah, real quick? Yeah. You know, Marcus is grand, you guys. You guys know that. <laughs> so, you know, I had some little chairs, but I had to get the grand chair. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But uh, we want to give a shout out to Simply Extravagant uh, Party um, Rentals. Uh, they supply the chairs for our set today, so we want to definitely reach out to them. I'm going to, you want to reach out to them, I'm going to put their information on the bottom of the screen too. Or you can reach out to them. They're on uh, Facebook and also I'm going to put their phone number on the bottom of the screen too. So Pat, honey, thank you so thank much. You, I love Marcus. you. No, thank you so much <laughs> for coming you. on thank and sharing her me. your knowledge with us today. So Pat and I, we're going to take a quick break and then we're going to come back with Life Lessons. Okay, you guys, I just want to end today talking about living your life in excellence, living your professional life in excellence and your personal life in excellence. I can tell you that this beautiful lady sitting next to me, she lives her life in excellence. She is, an ex she is excellent at what she does, and she is always sharing that excellence with other people, young people. She's always reaching back and grabbing and pulling people up and teaching them how to uh, have a professional, successful professional career herself. Now, why do I, I want to live my life in excellence? I don't do it. I don't want to be the best makeup artist just because I can be the best makeup artist. Right. I want to do that because I also want to honor those people who paved the way for me. I want to honor them. And if I can honor them by being the best I can be, then they did not live their life in vain. So... I mean, I would not be here. Pat would not be right. here without Madam C. J. Walker. Yes. Yes. Inspiration. Yes. Inspiration. She was the first woman, self-made woman millionaire in the United States, and she did that by creating her own hair care and yes. beauty products and selling them door to door. And then, as Pat said, she employed. She started to employ other people so they could be independent as well. So that's what you do, yes. right? Yes. And I also, I want to do it because I want to honor, like, the late, great Joey Mills, who was the superstar makeup artist in the 70s in New York City. I would not be here without people like Joey Mills. I wouldn't be here without people like the late, great Ernest Collins, who was one of my biggest mentors. Um, I would not have the career that I have today without him. I wouldn't have my career without the late, great Bert Emanuel who saw something in me and pushed me and said, Marcus, you should do this. You could have a career as a makeup artist. So I do all of that. I try to live in excellence. I know Pat tries to live in yes. excellence as well because we want to honor those people yes. who opened those doors yes. and paved the, the way, way for us. us. So I say today, it doesn't have to be the beauty industry, but whatever you do, whatever you do, do it so well that your ancestors in heaven, those people that came before you, sing your praises. 
So we end every show with a quote. And our quote today is, you can be your ancestors' wildest dreams. So take that with you today, you guys. I hope you have an incredible Sunday. Thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you so much for spending part of your Sunday with Pat and I. Yes. Pat, thank you again for coming on. I really appreciate you. And I know the audience will learn so much from you. So, yes. and, and again, you guys, reach out to uh, Pat. She's at SheerCreationsAcademy.com. And please don't forget to like, share, and comment. If you're enjoying the uh, information, please share the site with your family and your friends and ask them to subscribe. And as always, what did we say? Please be good to yourself and be kind. Yes. We have to get back to kindness. Be kind to everybody that you meet. And Pat and I both know and we hope love will find you today. Thanks again, you guys, for watching. See you next time. Bye.